Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims uh, for, uh, <laughs> totally screwed it up. Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims for Dine Out Part 3. Uh, already losing track, that's terrible, that's terrible, you gotta do better than that Deli. But anyways, let's get to it. As you guys can probably see, we're in a different household. Don't worry, you haven't clicked on the wrong video. This is Part 3 of Let's Play The Sims for Dine Out. And I'm actually in a different household because this lovely lady, Stephanie Golden, is actually going to go look uh, at the Woo's house um, to purchase it. She's on the market for a new house, but the thing is she can't really afford it. She just loves looking at big houses because one day she does dream to have a beautiful mansion and, uh, you know, her traits are interesting. She's creative, she's a foodie, she's good, and she's business savvy as well. Now, the thing about uh, Stephanie Golden is that this is actually Simley's creation. I was on the gallery and I was looking for some inspiration for this Let's Play, and I saw her under the hashtag Deligracy by the user Riley Loves Sims 4. And Stephanie is actually. Uh, she's just had a sex change to become her full self. So she was previously a man. Uh, she cannot get pregnant and she'll go to the toilet standing up, but she identifies herself as a woman. And I thought, you know, since we're able to have transgender Sims in The Sims 4, then why not make the most of it? So we're going to be bringing her into the LP and I think she's going to come, at, come in at the right time because I feel like she really needs to help. Uh, Mr. Wu with his restaurant. So we're going to go over to our house and over here we've got Beatrice Agent, uh, one of her friends, and Beatrice is actually going to show her the house. So Beatrice has kind of been like, oh my lord, you've got to see this beautiful, beautiful house, Stephanie. I think you're going to love it. Let's just go for fun. Let's have a look. Let's meet the owner and pretend like you're going to buy it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and this chick here, this is Meredith Blake. If you guys have seen The Parent Trap, I just made her for fun. I don't know. She's, I just, I just did it. She's on the gallery if you want to download her. She just looks fabulous. And I was hoping she'd come to the restaurant at some point. So anyways, let's go visit the Woo household and uh, check out, check it out. Have a scoop. Um, have a scoop. What does that even mean? Have a squiz, I think I was trying to say. Have a scoop. A scoop of what? Anyways, let's go to it. Let's get to it. And I did post part one and two in the same day yesterday. So if you guys uh, were confused, there is part two. I just opened, the, I, I just uploaded them back to back. So yeah, I'm just loving it. Having so much fun with this. Let's play. All right. So let's go knock on their door. Don't even know where the front door is. And yes, I did build this house. Okay, knock on the front door. Actually, we might get the, uh, we should get the real estate agent to knock on the door, really. Oh, well, Stephanie knows what she wants, so she's just gonna go knock and uh, just look at her dream house, really. Wow, she's just invited herself in. Well, that's fine. Are the others still in their formal wear? Oh no, they've changed out of their formal and party wear. Oh well, that's fine. I did muck up the recording a little bit, so. Oh well, oh well, oh. Oh wow, she's really just helping herself. She's just like, okay, bathroom, very nice. <laughs> I feel like though Stephanie's a good sim, so she's not just gonna ignore the kids. She's gonna be nice to the kids and actually say hi to them. And uh, <laughs> they're real estate agent. Maybe you should find Mr. Wu. Where is Mr. Wu? Is he asleep? Oh, that's so awkward. Excuse me, Mr. Wu. We've come to see the house. Remember, we organized this. But Deli mucked up the recording. That's why you're in bed. She's like, hey, dude, we're here to see the house. Like, come on. <laughs> I also created Patrice as well. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just liked her. Let's do a bit of a friendly introduction. I wish we could do a like a business introduction, like a formal introduction. Uh, but Stephanie's liking this bathroom. She's spending a lot of time in there and I feel like she's gonna go up to Antonia and be like, hey Antonia, how's, how's school been? <laughs> All right, uh, let, let's just have more of a squiz around the house. If we get into a conversation with Beatrice, let's just get Beatrice here. Oh, hold on. We can get them to go here together and then create a sort of little group, I think. And then they can wander around the house together. That's what we want. That's what we want. Uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like. Oh, fine, Mr. Wu. Fine. Fine. Stephanie's loving this house. <laughs> 
She, uh, I, w- I want to go look at really impressive homes just for funsies. I want a best friend real estate agent who will take me to all the cool houses and be like, okay, let's just pretend you're buying this and let's go have fun at my work. <laughs> all right. Okay. So she's like, well, there's very good fly screens, so there are no bugs coming into this house. It has fantastic ventilation uh, that does not let bugs in. As you can see, if we walk along here, you get a beautiful view of the incredible and amazing architecturally designed sunken lounge. Also furnished by an amazing interior designer, more Timor Goth. <laughs> or, I don't know, Bella Goth, maybe. Maybe she's into interior design. Ah! Okay. Uh, where can we go to next? Uh, over here, we have the crazy indoor garden bed that has this excellent odd desk area where the family eats at because Deli forgot to put it in the dining table. The architect forgot to put it in a dining area, but that's okay. Uh, pretty cool though. And then there's a bit of split leveling here that we can go up to. And then there's the two kids rooms. But then it might be a little bit hard because Stephanie can't have kids herself. So she would have to have via surrogacy, I think. So maybe that's a little bit hard for her to see. I don't know. Maybe she accepts it and it's like, well, there's other ways around it. Um, or maybe she's not even interested. She's just like, wow, this is beautiful. I love this place. Move me in. Where can I sign? <laughs> and then they can also check out this uh, very fancy schmancy sunken movie lounge as well. Uh, but really, this should be the dining room. They just never dine at a table. They'll just eat in front of their computers and TVs and stuff. That's just what this family does. Their dad doesn't really care about family, so he's not going to prepare a dinner for them and sit with them. Yeah. Oh, Stephanie is loving this. She's like, okay, this is beautiful. I really wish I could afford this, but I can aim for this. So that's pretty cool. I feel like, uh, I really feel like Patrice should wake up the owner. These guys should have a little gossip, you know. Oh, Stephanie, make yourself at home. Uh, maybe we can just go with a little bit of a gossip about the owner. All right, let's go over here. Like, so the owner was broken hearted when his wife left him about six years ago. It was terrible. He's moved about seven times since. It's like he can never relax because every house haunts him and reminds him of his wife. So he keeps moving. Hmm. Interesting, says Stephanie. Hmm. Stephanie seems really nice, doesn't she? Uh, okay, let's, I feel like, let's just wake up, Mr. Woo. You know what, Mr. Woo? You're being rude. You're being wooed. <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. Let's wake him up. Let's do it now. I mean, I guess in all fairness, it is 11 o'clock at night and these people are coming just to look at the house, eating your hamburgers <laughs> while you're trying to sleep. It's fine. But I feel like he needs to be introduced to Stephanie. It'd be good to be able to get Sims to introduce you to other Sims as well. I feel like that would be a really nice, realistic thing. Mr. Wu! Did he just get changed under the covers of his bed? Oh, he's really miserable. Uh, did you just, excuse me, Mr. Wu? Stephanie's just gonna take it upon herself. She's a strong independent, independent woman. She don't need a real estate agent to introduce herself. He hasn't seen her yet. Let's maybe try to cheer him up. I mean, we're a really nice sim. So let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Say Mr. Wu. Why are you so upset? <laughs> maybe, maybe she is able to woo Mr. Wu. Maybe he does have a heart in there despite his cold exterior. And he did look back at her just then, didn't he? It's like, damn it, I have a crush. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think these guys would be really nice together. It'd be nice to have Stephanie achieve her dream of living in an amazing home. But also she loves cooking. She'd love to run a restaurant and she could help Mr. Wu improve his restaurants. So that'd be pretty cool. Let's, let's just have a little bit of, of, of an engaging story. I got too excited, so I can't talk. Um, do you like llamas, Mr. Wu? I heard about your terrible divorce. 
I heard she kept your llamas. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to try and make conversation from their speech bubbles. It's like a little game I play. Oh, do they have bats in Windenburg? I am absolutely terrified of bats. I can deal with any animal, but if you if I see a bat, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, let's just speed those guys up a little bit. Uh, how is their relationship going? Are they hitting it off? They're kind of hitting it off. And how old is she? Is she a young adult? Mm -hmm. So she's a bit younger. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she's trying to heal his broken heart. <gasps> they got negatives. We should leave. We should really leave right now. I like how her shoes match her, match her belt. I like that. Excuse me, Miss Patrice, if you're going to bed. Okay, she's not. She's just using the toilet. That's fine. Oh, Stephanie is going to heal this man's broken heart. They have the same interests. They love food. They love fancy big houses. And she will help him with his business. And she'll be nice to his kids. Because they haven't really had a dad figure. So, you know, you know. All right, you know what? I'm going to send this girl home and switch households. All righty, back at the Woo household. Uh, Ali here is up in the middle of the night having a midnight snack. Or I guess it's really early morning, but she's fully energized. So, she's doing fine. Uh, but what we might do is, because she's such a lovely gal, we might get her to do a little bit of cooking. Cooking? <laughs> well, she is a bit kooky. She is, she is a lot of fun and very funny. But we'll get her to do some cooking. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like she should serve some breakfast. Maybe we can go with some scrambled eggs. I do want her to gradually get that cooking skill up, even though it's happening really, really slowly. And I feel like all this family eats is popcorn. Like someone needs to help them with their food choices, you know? Maybe Stephanie. Uh, sorry, I'm getting way too excited about this this little uh, this little future budding budding love. Uh, anyways, okay, so Mr. Wu is asleep in bed. That's cool. And then we have Clay over here. Now, did these guys finish their homework? Hmm. Well, where's his homework? Where did he put it? Where did you put your homework, Clay? I don't know. Here? Where are these guys putting their things? And you're meant to be cooking. Please. Please, girl. Don't make... Don't... Don't... Don't make me angry. Okay. Um... In this little cherub. She's been sleeping for a while. We might make, wake her up 6 o'clock in the morning. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll get her to do some homework. Oh, she's jumped straight out of bed. She's feeling fabulous. Nice one, Antonia. And Allie's in the kitchen cooking up a storm. I like that. And we'll also get her to have a shower soon once she's finished that. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully she gets pretty skilled at cooking because it would be nice to have someone who actually knows how to cook in the family who can learn all the chef dishes at home. That would be really nice. Uh... I do wish that your Sims could work as chefs at the restaurants. For me, that would be ideal, but yeah, no. Uh, but we're going to open up the restaurant today and hopefully maybe we'll invite Stephanie to come to the restaurant. That could be kind of cool. So we might do that. Uh, but yeah, we'll get Ali to finish, finish cooking, cooking this up. Antonia, are you ready for some brekkie? Come get some delicious scrambled eggs made by, excellent scrambled eggs made by your big sister. And oh girl, we need to change those slippers. That green does not match the green on your onesie. I will never let my kids do that. Never ever. Whew, lucky I don't have kids and won't be having them for like another 40 years. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay, so Ali, I feel like you're a little uh, a little slow today. I don't know. Just, just a bit slow. You need to get up, mister. You need to grab a serving of this. I have no idea where you put your homework, so we might have to buy you another one. I feel like Clay's the kind of kid who would always be losing stuff at school. Like, he's the kid whose family just has to keep buying him new school jumpers, new books, new everything, because he just loses it all. I have to say, in my time, I've lost a lot of school jumpers, but I don't think you guys are that surprised, because, hey... Derpy Deli strikes again. 
All right, maybe we will just get a quick something something to eat. And I swear if we do get with Stephanie, the first thing she's going to do when she moves in is that she's going to make a nice family dining table for everyone to have a family dinner at. That would be nice. That would be really nice. <laughs> so you don't have to sit here on the couch all the time. Oh, Clay was looking at his dad just then. I think he was thinking, hmm, dad looks like he's in a pretty good mood today. What's going on with dad? He's met someone. All right, cool guys. Uh, you need to jump in the shower. You need to do some kind of homework. Is the homework in the shelf? No, we'll just have to purchase a school book. We can do that though. Oh, well, how do you... I'm not even sure which category it's in. I think I can recognize it though. That's a grade school homework. There we go. Let's grab you another one of those and you can do your homework. Thanks for ordering. The books Clay purchase can be found in his inventory. How much did that cost us actually? How much did your school books just cost us, Clay? Because you need to work for that at the restaurant. You have to stop losing your things. Oh, it only cost a dollar. It's okay. We'll let, we'll let that one slide. Ah, and Tony is off to school. Such a winner. And you know what? You just need to go to school. Okay, buddy? Okay. Off to school. Off to school. Off to school. Off to school with my notebook in my hand. Is that off? What film is that off? Is that off Happy Gilmore? Jeez, I haven't watched that for a long time. Okay, Mr. Wu, it is time to get dressed. It's going to be a beautiful day. Let's get into your everyday two for a change because you're feeling extra fabulous. Oh, he's wearing the silk, the silk patterned jacket. <clears throat> and we are going to go to the Magnolia McDonald's because that needs some love. Needs some loving. It needs some attention. Just like Mr. Wu himself. So we're going to invite Stephanie over and also just check up on all of our workers, maybe give them some training and hopefully Stephanie's going to come save the day there and help us run the restaurant. And I wouldn't be surprised either if Clay starts helping out with the restaurants too once he ages up. So that would be cool. All right. <laughs> Did he bring his breakfast to work? Oh no, he's just cleaning up. Okay. How is this place looking? Tisk tisk tisk. I don't like how there's always bowls left around. I don't know about your workers. Okay. Uh, let's open up all stores. Let's open up the beach. Let's open up the drive through and we'll open up the current one too. Open for business. How are we going here? So we could hire another chef if we want to. If we're going by Mr. Wu standard, he just wants to keep hiring lots of people and spending lots of money. And he thinks, whoa, uh, Aubrey, you are like, you are McDonald's right now. You are Ronald McDonald, or should we say Monald Rookdonald at uh, Duke Monald's? God, that is confusing. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, who, oh my God, Aubrey, why do you put that on your face? That is the scariest thing ever. Oh dear. Okay, so we've hired a couple more. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, so we're definitely going to need to train them up. Where are our workers? We have been opened for zero hours. Thank you. Is this her? Is that Aubrey? Is Aubrey normal now? Excuse me, stop walking. Oh no, Pamela. Hey, Pamela, let's praise you. Cause I like to praise you like I should. Do, 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 do. Manage Javon. Praise for him. It's so good to hear the extra effort I've been putting in is getting noticed. Well, we're very proud of you. So we're gonna give you extensive training because we can. Let's give everyone amazing training. He's in such a good mood today. He's, it's amazing when someone's just a little bit nice to someone else, it's contagious. Mr. Wu just can't hold it in. He's like, pay rises for everyone. No, he's not feeling that nice. He's still a bit of a jerk. 
Great, just what I wanted, a chance to go to a class in my off time. Whoa. Okay, where's our customers at? Oh, here they are. Uh, okay, Aubrey. Aubrey! <laughs> oh well, Monald, uh, Monald Rook Donald. Uh, manage Aubrey. <laughs> Let's just check up on her to make sure she is feeling okay and she is with the current world. Everything's... You know, she's, she is normal. Uh, all right, let's, oh, more clown hair. <gasps> oh, that hair is really getting to me. It's really grinding my gears. Grinding my gears. Hey, and Antoinette. Oh, our maid is here. We're even gonna say hi to the maid. That's how good we're feeling today. Wonderful, I try to be a model employee. It looks like my effort is paying off. Well, you must have got up very early, Aubrey, to put on this fantastic uh, face paint. Congratulations. Okay, so these guys are all good and well. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, our thing's full. Oh, this hair is terrible. I can't deal. It's making me so upset. What? I'm not very happy about the wait times here. Who? You? Excuse me, you're the chef. Like, maybe cook a little bit quicker <laughs> and you will be happier. Uh, no, 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 mate, don't leave. Why did you leave us? <laughs> we need your services. I'm not very happy about the wait times here. What are you on, Samara? What, where did you and Aubrey go last night to be this off your rocker? Seriously. Oh, wow. Well, at least the customers are happy, well, as happy as they can be. Hello, Mr. Bjorn. 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 All right, let's do a little bit of running around. I want to make sure everything's running smoothly. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, four stars. Oof. That's what we want. You know what? We're going to fire you in a second, Samara. If you don't bite your tongue and appreciate your work and work faster if you want faster wait times work faster oh <gasps> can we be can we criticize her let's criticize her because this is just rude why would you complain about wait times when it's your fault i'm so ashamed i didn't mean to mess up please don't put this on my permanent record well we might have to excuse me manage jared how are you doing how are you doing? Why are you guys only threes? We better check up on them as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The welcome dance. Apparently that's from She's the Man. I was asking. Your restaurant McDonald's drive through has started to lose money. Oh no. We need help. Please don't have drop stars. Whew. Maybe we should check up on that one. No, we need to, we need to, we need to, be in three places at once <laughs> oh the stress is real anyways you guys i'm gonna leave this part right here in the next part we'll yes yes the rating has increased yes mr woo woohoo mr woo woohoo anyways let me know if you let me know if you guys think you'd like mr woo to woohoo with you know who in the next part let me know uh, but anyways, I'm leaving this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.